What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we are going to be talking about CTRM stock, Castor Maritime, and how this stock has the possibility to 10x throughout the rest of 2021 and even possibly going into 2022. They keep adding new ships to their fleet, which is extremely bullish for the long term for this company. And they were actually actually profitable before the pandemic. And the pandemic really uh, hit this type of business pretty hard. Hard. We also got some other really great news on the actual pricing that Castor Maritime will be able to charge for their shipping services going forward. So before we get into all of that information, if you guys would like to have two free stocks from Webull, make sure you go down and click on that link in my description and in the pinned comment. Webull is what I use to trade all of the time. It's an unbelievable trading platform. It's really simple and easy to understand. And the two free stocks that you receive could be valued up to $1,000 or more. So that is definitely something that you should consider. All you have to do is deposit $100 into the brokerage account and you get to receive your two free stocks. Now that is free money. And if you guys enjoy the information that I provide for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So we started talking about CTRM towards the end of January when the stock was trading at about 68 cents, and then the stock went on an absolute moon mission all the way up to $1.95. Now, the stock has since had a significant sell-off along with the overall market. We've seen these hyper-growth stocks get hit the hardest, and these penny stocks in particular. So we are seeing a very significant sell-off in CTRM. And as I always say, when trading stocks and owning stocks that are super small cap uh, and are pretty uh, volatile and risky, that you should not put in an amount of money that you are not willing to take at least a 20% loss on and be perfectly fine with it. My strategy with these types of companies is to put in a pretty sizable investment. If the stock goes down 20%, I sell and take the loss. But if the stock goes up 20, 30, 40, or even 50%, I will take out my initial investment and sell off that amount of shares and leave the profit in my position for the long term. So it's essentially creating a quote unquote free position that you get to ride out for the long term and essentially play with house money. So coming over to this first piece of news, we can see that Castor Maritime announced a new vessel acquisition. So uh, CTRM, a diversified global shipping company, announces that it entered through a separate wholly owned subsidiary into an agreement to purchase a 2010 Korean built Kamsar Max dry bulk carrier from an uh, unaffiliated third party for a purchase price of $15.45 million. The acquisition is expected to be consummated by taking delivery of the vessel within the second quarter of this year and is subject to the satisfaction of certain customary closing conditions. So basically, essentially what that is, is that there's some uh, uh, words in the contract and lines in the contract that say if the vehicle, uh, the vessel arrives and it is not exactly what Castor Maritime had expected, there is a way for them to actually get out of this deal, which is very good in my opinion. So we actually saw uh, the CEO make a comment about this. We are very happy to announce our seventh vessel at acquisition in 2021 with the addition of another Camsar Max dry bulk vessel, our fourth to Castor's fleet. Our focus remains on deploying our capital and growing our fleet through timely acquisitions of vessels across shipping segments. Coming down a little bit further, we can see that on a fully delivered basis, which means that Castor has received all of these ships, they will have a fleet of 13 vessels with an aggregate capacity of 1.2 million DWT, consisting of one capsize, I feel like that's not a great name for a ship, four Camps Armax, six Panamax dry bulk vessels, and two Aframax tankers. We refer to the information on a fully delivered basis. We are refer referring to such information after giving effect to the successful consummation of our recent vessel acquisition. So they've completed, what was the number? Seven vessel acquisitions throughout 2021 alone. We are only in March. Now think about this. Why would Castor Maritime acquire seven new vessels? 
vessels if they thought in the future that they were not going to have enough business in order to fill those vessels and ship dry bulk goods around the world. This is providing us with a lot of information on where Castor thinks their revenue and business is actually going to go in the future. Now, them acquiring all of these ships, in my opinion, is extremely bullish for this company, but since it is still a penny stock, you do still have to be careful when you are trading stocks like this. I don't want you guys to go in uh, and put your entire savings into a company like this just because I'm saying that they are buying seven ships uh, which can hold a lot of goods and they are expecting their business to be really big for the long term because nothing I say in these videos is financial advice. These are for educational and entertainment purposes only. I am trying to provide you guys with the most up-to-date information on all of these stocks that we talk about on this channel and help you guys make your own decisions on what you would like to do with your money. But at the end of the day, it is your own decision and you should do your own due diligence as well. But again, seven vessel acquisitions is very bullish, and this could yield some substantial revenue growth for Castor Maritime for the long term. As we saw before the pandemic, as I've said earlier in this video, they were actually a profitable company, and the pandemic really took a hit on their profitability. If we can see Castor Maritime actually get these uh, ships out uh, in servicing customers, it is possible that we could see Castor Maritime get to profitability by the end of 2021, which would massively increase its share valuation. Now, in addition to Castor Maritime buying seven vessels in 2021, we actually got some updates uh, two days ago about the actual state of the dry bulk shipping market across the world. So coming over here, we can see that dry bulk shipping stock Castor Maritime raced out of port Monday morning, notching a 12% gain as of 11.20 a.m. Eastern time. There appeared to be two reasons for this, one good and one bad. The bad... Uh, actual reason for Castor Maritime going up on this specific day, in my opinion, is not really that bad at all. It's actually a good news to see uh, this reason, which we will get into a little bit later in this video, but I fear it's the one bad one that's moving Castor Maritime stock today. This is this article's uh, opinion, uh, and I uh, personally do not agree. So good news first, the Baltic Exchange Dry Intix in Index, the BDI, which tracks the rate shippers like Castor Maritime can get for hauling dry bulk, uh, dry bulk goods, coal, iron pellets, grain across the ocean continues to surge higher. Just one month ago, the BDI was at 1,315. On Friday, on the website tradingeconomics.com, clocked it at 1,829. So that is very good news. We are seeing Castor Maritime acquire more ships, which means that in general, they're going to be able to have more business and put those ships out into the market and make more shipments across the world. Now, if they are able to charge a higher premium for these services, we are going to see Castor Maritime's revenue substantially increase over the next couple of quarters if the BDI holds up. And with all of the other drama happening in the market right now with such uh, such stocks such as GameStop, AMC, Nokia, and a couple other uh, stocks that have been uh, short squeezed, we do have to mention the extremely high short interest forecast or maritime. So coming over to Fintel.io, we can see that the short volume ratio on Castor Maritime is about 35%. So this is nowhere near as high as the short uh, percentage of float that we've seen uh, out of stocks like GameStop, but 35% percent is still very significant and if we see a strong bullish move in castor maritime we could see somewhat of a short squeeze but again it's not going to be anywhere near uh as as aggressive as the scale it was uh, with gamestop short squeeze so that is going to be it for this update on Castor Maritime Stock, ticker symbol CTRM. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button and hit the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so, uh, so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. And if you would like two free stocks valued up to over $1,000, make sure you click that Weeble link in 
in my description or in the pinned comment, and that will make you eligible to receive two free stocks when you create a new account on the Webull brokerage. And you get a first free stock when you initially sign up, and you get your second free stock when you deposit $100 or more. So it's literally free money. You could honestly make uh, anywhere from 20% to even a couple thousand percent on the actual investment of just putting in $100 to your account. And Webull is a great brokerage to have. Uh, it gives you a lot of information. In my opinion, it's right in between Robinhood and TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim platform in terms of the technical capability. So that is going to be it for this video. And I hope you guys are having a profitable day and I'll see you guys in the next one.